A new heart indeed, maybe a new man. From now on, my soul, oh my Lord, needs. Strip my body from me, that today I reach to pay what I owe the best that I can. Doubtful steps inside the blind night span, so that I've come to hate the day in my feet, and fear that I shall find the cold death that brings and wraps up the sweet bait of the mortal stump. I'm your rent, father, your image. I been but apart from your true will, I don't believe that other thing my party would have seen. Do what is required for what I've been, a fiend, never would I ask. I have lost the relief and my health, my desire is not clean. Second Psalm, how far I am, my Lord, from your flock, while I follow my desire, my will. Take my hopefulness, that I may only feel the cold disguise hidden inside the clock. Year after year is passing by my lodge, but I remain tough and rough, and still I show my freedom as green. And its ill and twisted root is damned and clogged. You call me, great Lord, never do I answer clear. No doubt that for my words you keep on waiting, while so dearly my ransom you brook. But alas, in deeper sea, I only fear that, if my punishment you keep on waiting, with double penalty. My pain you'll brook. Third Psalm Till when, health of the miserable earth, will you be deaf to the sighs of this quiver? When will my errant night's eyes be a river? and the sea drink the barren tears with my breath? When will your sunny day awaken me, that the soul in this night is in dark recess, that my true guilt all is gross, I confess, and the evil fault of this growth you can see, its strength shows the red heat of the strongest ray, but for harsh kings and dukes death does not delay, shines the inaccessible blazing power, making a real being the impossible tower, and your mercy stays immense in the well-known train of my main offence. How can I, my lord, be so insolent? Who is hearing me and does not care? Tumble down lately by my cloudy spirit To exhaust your mercy or your torment. My dry tongue sown in my throat is scared. My eyes miss water and the words feed it. Nothing means reflection. The world has bewitched me. Where could I hide myself from this deception, if in the trace of my errant fault I see wherever my perishable footsteps lead, that your new rage I discover is lit? Fifth Psalm May I know, Lord, the distance that between us my sinful crimes create. They arrive on this day at the blank ceiling, where you radiate assistance. I exert but sobs and yells, till come late, and with these tears I fall. My naked chest remains in deepest feeling, but alas, 
If the offence I've left, tiredness is my only gift. Never a true regret. I haven't a grave for it. Terrible confession, indeed. Confused fright. To your suffering, I fear, this owes its right. Six Psalm My evilness commands more than I can say. Even you will fear my plea, who well know it. Eternal author of day, whose will contains the gist, the key of heaven and earth. Maybe I know in my childless experience sweetness and clement silence that your chest gives us. That breath you help everyone that falls in disgrace. But I am so blind in these confused tears that I avoid calling you. As I fear you'll make me fight against my sins with your grace. O oh, lower servitude, burnt, not enlightened, in my solitude by the light of everyone's days. Great slavery is this for a man Dangerous pulse and struggle, my will offers in a thousand ways. I have no freedom, don't want it, while I stand in the trenches of new battles. What hellish pains, my lord, await the soul if the hard subjection of this pulse prowl? Seventh Psalm Where can I lead my sadness, Lord? My eyes not seeing today your high and divine power. If I write, I make my spell that in the burning rays of the morning lights you have your seat and you dwell. If I see the night with your cloak as ceiling I look at you giving laws to stars and land. If I bow towards a tender and sweet plant, I see you painting rivers. If again I look at the sinners giving free rein to themselves, they live, I live, with a naive blue love to give. And there I find your concern arms grieving not punishing, daytime, nighttime suffering. Eighth Psalm Leave me alone now, foreign reluctances that have the sunny truth a shadow and hell daily repentances that the old memory is prayer and spell of the strength that my desires wear and tie that ugly taste doesn't lie but leads to the mistaken road charming prowl need me for i heard a howl as i dreamt in my forgotten evilness more the awakening than the slept sadnesses Keep you satisfied, sharing part of the years that your powerful train owes to my life, that I want to give them as time on your side, as I hold the saintly deceits between tears that clouded abysmal waters of myself, where I fell in love with my image itself. When I look back 
and think twice about the years that have blanked the youth of my early flowers and I see the deceits, weedings and fears that I can find in black towers. Great is my happiness out of all of them. If at any time I lived inside their blint, the figure passes through the world without rest and death's pressure leads our footsteps in the race. Life never, never stops, nor does time turn back in the path its old face. Man is born, clutched to the uncertain fortune, and being alive, his journey will not delay from harmonious cradle, sweet and lovely June, to black coffin, but the graveyard doesn't pray, and most times, indeed, a short step in the line is enough to lead the east to its decline. Only the foolish young man that crowns his head with flowers owns flows in these rivers to arrive at the same wasteland. Thus, if this life is such, if life is birth, to call the true life is offence to death. Delightful works, oh, my own delightful pains, vast happiness, ancient old prayer that tortures me and dwells in my memory, may be sweet some time, but a brief glory that took away the dark weight of my brief days. You treat me dearly, sad tears, cause if you're the penalty for all those years, I know now myself that you are well deserved, and in my solitude I am well preserved. But if you are a gift, I appreciate you more, because I look at the damp flesh as a remembrance that I owe you my rest. I've lost my freedom, my will went out with it, my choice allowed this flight just to exile it. The stars give voice to this plea, and the drops of on my skin were a new sea. I felt that all that strength was leaving me. But now I comfort myself, O oh Lord, when I feel that I avoid my will. I am free when I avoid the freedom of myself, and the knowledge is the interest of the bill. I was born naked, and only my closed eyes, when they went out, were covered by weeping. I want to come back to the earth as I came. The way is sown with stubble and lies. My lyre remains in silence, do not sing. Only the buggle sounds of my own war game. Let them know what sweet matters I persecute. Good that will not die with me without dispute, because my treasure is old. Do not envy the purple nor the gold that turn to shroud as hidden alchemist, the tragic scythe of dying, perfidious mechanism. I refuse to enjoy my time to save in the punishment. Oh yes, what man receives, he only digs, a black hole in the land. When the time of departure arrives at his side, that the main misfortune in his human town is for the human being to climb and fall down. From nothing makes treasures, makes America, who, like me, with nothing reaches Costa Rica and with fragile sustenance satisfies the faster and free repentance. The man who wants richness with lies to live with silk and gold while he dies pretends, oh, to reach them, 
but when he has climbed enough to get them to the top of a high hill, he lacks time, breath, light, and life to live.